Hey there, this is Jonathan from the Generate Press team. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to do more with your query loop on single posts. So what do I mean? Well, in the last episode, we left off by creating an archive template, which is what you're looking at here on your screen. But if I click through this post, we can see that it's totally functional, but it doesn't look that amazing. For instance, one thing I wanna do is bring in the content from the left and right edges a bit, just add some padding. And then I also wanna use a query loop to create a related post sidebar. And we can do that really easily and dynamically all through one template. So let's go to the admin area of our website. We're gonna to go to appearance and elements. This particular feature is from Generate Press Premium. So make sure you have that activated. And you'll recall in the last episode, we created the archive template using a block element type. So what we're gonna do again is go add new. And this time we're gonna to go to block. We'll click on create. Then we're gonna call this singular template. And again, like you see me do quite often, I'm going to expand the sidebar so you can follow along. I'm gonna type in a slash and pop in a generate blocks container and then add in an inner container. Now I mentioned I wanted some padding off the left and right edges. So maybe let's just do one rim of padding left and right. And maybe let's go four rim top and bottom. Rim is just a relative unit where one rim is equal to 16 pixels. And these relative units are good for a variety of different reasons. So what I'll do in this case, because now we're essentially building our blog template is I am going to bring in a headline. We're gonna make sure to use the generate blocks headline. We're gonna change this to an H1 because this will act as our post title. And then we're gonna come down to the dynamic data section. I'm gonna turn this on, go to current post, which is the default here. Content source will be post title. Link source in this case, we don't need to set because we're already on the single post view. So then what I can do is go to add after, and I'm going to type in slash dynamic content and add that element to the page. Then I can choose the post content. So now what we need to do is tell this template where to apply. So we can go to the location and we're gonna scroll down until we get to the post section. And what this is going to do is apply it to all of our posts. If you had custom post types or maybe some other plugins that were adding different kinds of sections in here, then you could select those to apply this template to as well. Then what we need to do is come back over to the element tab. We're gonna come down here to element type and we're gonna change this to content template. Let's go ahead and publish this and we're gonna go see our changes on the front end right away. So if I refresh, then we can see we have the post title and all of our content here. Everything looks good. Now in the previous iteration, it automatically added the featured image before this headline, which we can still do just for demonstration sake, go to add before and type slash image. Make sure you pick the generate blocks image element here because it has the dynamic data options built in. So switch to the block tab, scroll down to dynamic data. And what we wanna do is current post again and image source will be featured image. And then I'm just gonna stick a little bit of margin bottom on this one rim to space it out from the H1 element. So we'll update this and refresh. And just like before, there's our featured image, there's our headline, and there's our text. So there's a lot of reasons why you might go to the trouble of doing what I've done here and customizing your template more. Now, one thing I wanna point out is if I click on the elements option, you're gonna see that the reason why my setup here looks a little bit different than yours might is I created a layout element that removes sidebars from my entire site. This is purely a personal preference thing, I like to build my sidebars manually, but you can still use the sidebars that are built into WordPress and that Generate Press natively integrates with. But for me, I like building them in the template like this approach shows here. So now let's actually build that sidebar. So what I'm going to do in this case is I want my sidebar to begin after the image element. So what I'll do is go to post title and I'm actually going to add this to a container and then I will drag in my dynamic content. This is going to act as my content area. So let's go to block name and we're gonna type in content area. Then again, let's add this to a container. And then what I'll do is after this, we're gonna add in another container slash container like that. I'm gonna scroll down and give this a name as well, block name of sidebar. And then I'm gonna go back to the container that wraps those two elements. And then from here, I'm gonna add a global style and we'll call this grid to one. And what I want is for the content area to take up basically two thirds of the available space and the sidebar to take up one third. So we'll click on create, blank style, layout will be display of grid. 
And then we're gonna choose the grid template columns that looks most like what we're after, which in this case happens to be this one here. You can see there's a number of other great default options for you to pick from. If you wanna do a sidebar on the left, the same exact idea would apply here. So this option here will work for us. And then for column and row gap, I'm gonna go with one rem on both. Okay, so now inside of this sidebar, let's add in a headline. And maybe this will be like an H3 or possibly even an H4. We can call this related posts. Now what I'm gonna do is go back to my elements area because really no reason for us to rebuild this query loop from the ground up. We can simply just take the one that we created from before in the previous episodes, copy this, and inside of our singular template, we can basically just paste this right below it. Now, obviously there are some problems, layout issues and spacing and alignment, we can fix all of that. So the first thing we need to do is again, remember we're on a singular template. So we don't actually want this option here for inherit query from template. That in this case won't work properly. So what we wanna do is say for our related posts sidebar, we're gonna say posts, Post per page nine is way too many. Let's say something like three. And then what I wanna do is add a parameter here. We're gonna to go to an option that says exclude posts. And what we can say is exclude the current post. So if I'm reading the one called unveiling ancient civilizations, we'll fix this alignment in a minute. We can just exclude that. So if that's the one that I'm currently viewing, it's not gonna show up in this related sidebar. Then we can add yet another parameter. And what we can do is scroll down until we find the option here that says taxonomies then our taxonomy will be category. That's the one we're looking for. And then select terms here is going to be current post terms. Now this particular feature is a generate blocks pro feature. So this current post terms, like I said, you're gonna need to have generate blocks pro in there, but it's so useful that I highly recommend it. Now let's make this not look so terrible. So we're gonna scroll down here. Then we're going to get into our post template. What I'm gonna do here is set this to 100% width. We can clean up a lot of these options. Like we don't need the list of terms because we're already on the same template. We can delete that. And then this whole meta byline area, let's delete that as well. So then what we have is the image and the headline. Now let's go ahead and update our template and we're gonna need to go view one of our posts. So this unveiling ancient civilizations is in the history category. So what are some of the other ones we're gonna expect in the history category? Let's go to categories and then history. And we can see we have unveiling ancient civilizations rise and fall of Roman empire, significant events of 20th century and un understanding the importance. So let's click on this, scroll down and there is our related post sidebar, a little bit cramped. We probably need to work on that a little bit, but you can see the related post sidebar that we just built is working perfectly. It's fully dynamic. So now it's detected that we're viewing a post in this particular category and it's showing others to us from that same category. The way that I've built this singular template here is just one of many ways that you could achieve the same functionality with generate press and generate blocks. And my goal here was to show you the overall idea and then let you take it from here. So if you have any further questions for us, please do let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.